how to send bulk emails using Apollo. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can send bulk emails using Apollo. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Apollo, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon signing up. But before that, if you don't know what is Apollo, it is a comprehensive sales intelligence and engagement platform designed to enhance the efficiency of B2B organizations in identifying, connecting with, and closing deals with ideal customers, in which it boasts of vast databases of over 275 million contacts across more than 73 million companies, allowing users to leverage advanced search filters and intent data to find and prioritize leads effectively. And the platform automates various sales processes including email outreach, call dialing, and workflow management enabling teams to streamline their operations and improve performance. And now to sign up on this platform, just click the link in the description or you could also click the sign up for free button on the top right corner that you will be directed in here, in which you can sign up using your email address, Google, or even Microsoft account. And after signing in, you'll now be able to be directed on this dashboard of Apollo.io. And on the left side panel, it will show you a variety of options that you can start navigating. And now as you can see under this homepage, it will show you in here, the onboarding hub, and some of the things that you need to set up in order to set up your account in here, including to search for leads. By clicking this one search for leads button, we'll automatically be directed on this page or on this search section in which this functionality allows users to find prospects that match their ideal customer profile by applying advanced filters in here. And this enables precise targeting of leads based on criteria like industry, company size, job title, location, and many more. And users can search for both companies and individual people to identify the most promising accounts and decision makers to reach out to. And now from here, I'm going to choose the number of employee, which is with predefined range. So let's say I'm choosing this 21 to 50, and it will show you on the right side panel all of the result of the number of employees with predefined range of 21 to 50. So from here, you can simply select all of those or some of those contacts, people in here, and start adding this directly to your groups or to your contacts, in which this will serve as your leads. And it will show you by simply clicking on any of those person in here or contact. You will be able to see their details and other relevant information that you can use or consider before adding this to your leads. So as you can see, I'm just selecting at least three person and click the save people button right here. And on this pop-up window, it will show us that we can simply add this to our list and just simply enter here or type the list that you want to put. For instance, I'm going to create a new list and I'm going to enter here or name this as sample. And after that, just click save contacts button below to proceed. And it will show you on this pop-up window that you need to agree to the terms of service and click I will comply. And after that, you will now be able to see that we have now successfully completed to add our first three contacts in this platform. And aside from people, you could also choose different kind of companies in here by clicking this company section, wherein you could also use other filters in here below. Or you can directly search. For example, I'm going to search Amazon. And upon clicking enter, it will show you the Amazon company on the right side panel. And you can choose this as your leads. And by clicking this plus button or save, it will show us in here that we can simply choose different kind of lists in here to choose from to save this account or company. And after that, you will now be able to see here that onboarding task has now been complete. And it will show you that we're currently under this onboarding hub. Now, if we go back to our search option right here by clicking save list, it will show us in here all of the lists of people or companies that we just had on this platform. By clicking this sample, you will be able to see here all of your lists that has been added in here. Now moving on to this data enrichment option by clicking this one. From here, you will be able to see the process of augmenting existing datasets with relevant additional details from various sources, transforming raw data into a comprehensive asset for informed decision making a deeper insights. So you can import here your data from your HubSpot, Salesforce and other integration in here. Moving on under the sequences by clicking this one. From here, we can now start creating here about emails, in which this feature is a structured outreach campaigns designed to facilitate systematic engagement with prospects through a series of predefined contact points and tasks. 
and from here it will show you that you also need to link your mailboxes in here so just proceed by clicking this link mailbox button and just click this google then this button below that says link mailbox upon clicking this one we will automatically be directed on this page and from here it will show us that our mailbox is now being connected or linked successfully and now to start creating a sequence you could also create a sequence with ai or create a sequence manually and let's say in those options, I'm going to click create a sequence with AI. In which from here, all you need to do is to simply fill out all of this required information, including the company, value, proposition, call to action, and many more. You also need to fill out this company overview and additional context. So now for instance, under this company or product name, I'm going to enter here, spa services. And after that below, just enter the customer pain points, then followed by entering here the value proposition. You can add here at least three benefits of using your products or services. Well, under this call to action, I'm going to enter here, book a spa treatment. And after that, if you scroll down below here, you would also enter the company overview and additional context. Then just proceed by clicking generate new sequence button below. And you will now be able to be directed in here. In which it will show you here sample bulk emails that you could also start sending to your leads. And below, as you can see, we have here different kind of step after this email has been sent. So from here it will show you in here that you can start navigating or choosing to change some of the email context in here. But if you're now satisfied with the result of this AI, just proceed by clicking the save sequence button to proceed. And after that we'll be able to be directed under this sequence in which under overview from here you'll be able to add contacts, other details about this email sequence in which by utilizing sequences, organizations can save time through automation, improve response rates, and institutionalize best practices for lead engagement. So now from here, for example, we're going to add here a contacts by clicking this add contacts button right here. We have the option to add contacts by prospect searcher, upload CSP, select list, or automate adding contacts. But let's say we're going to choose to prospect searcher, in which from here it will show us that we can simply search any people or companies depending on the filters that you want to use in here. But for instance, I'm going to use the location filter and I'm going to choose Europe. And upon clicking on it, it will show us in here all of the leads or contacts that we can choose. In which we can add all of this as our recipient in our email sequences. But at this point, I'm just going to save these contacts instead of adding this to our sequence. The going button here, we can simply scroll down and add step by clicking this add step button in which on this pop-up window, we can add here an automatic email, manual email, phone call, action item, and many more. And I'm going to choose automatic email, and from here, you could also choose the number of days when to start this step. You could also enter three days after the premium step. And after that, from here, we can start editing our template by entering here the subject and filling out all of this required information in here, including to choose the contact or the recipient of this email. So from here, you can basically select any person in here in your contacts that you want to add or set as the recipient of this email sequences and you could also add here or insert a link upload image attach files include a signature depending on your preferences and if you're now done just click the save button on the top right corner in order to save the changes and now as you can see this sequence is now currently active and that is just basically how you can send bulk emails using apollo thank you